The ACC rose up in 2016 to claim an argument as the best conference in college football, especially with its postseason uh, track record of 10 and 3. The Louisville Cardinals did not enjoy in that postseason success. They faded down the stretch with losses against Houston and Kentucky and then mauled in the bowl game against LSU. The Cardinal, despite the Cardinals, despite uh, playing in the ACC, have a pretty light schedule here. One that we rate number 50 in the country, 12th in the ACC. So the third easiest schedule in the country. Check out the initial video that we cut and posted that discusses and describes our scheduling process and how we break down the schedules and rank them. So for Louisville, despite playing in the division with Clemson and Florida State, obviously everybody else in that division has to deal with Clemson and Florida State, and everybody else has to deal with Louisville as well. So they would have one of the easier schedules in their division within the division, and then they certainly have the easiest division and conference schedule within the ACC. Too many missed games within these 14-team leagues that only play eight-game schedules, the SEC and the ACC. They miss five opponents. Makes the schedules very, very different, very skewed, and not fair and balanced. So for Louisville, think about this. They miss possibly the four best teams in the other division. Arguably, Miami, Virginia Tech, Duke, and Pitt. They have to play North Carolina, probably one of the four best in the other division, but not decidedly missing all the talent that the Tar Heels are from 2016. But the two games that uh, Louisville has from the other division, the Coastal, the game against North Carolina on the road September 9th, and a date against Virginia, the worst team projected worst in the other division. So Louisville's schedule, pretty light, is about as light as it could possibly be in the ACC. That moves us to the analysis of the out of conference where Louisville's got a pretty light touch. Of course, they conclude with their rivalry game against the Kentucky Wildcats out of the SEC. They start the season with a date at Indianapolis against Purdue. Purdue has been one of the worst programs in Power Five for five or six years. So that's not going to help the schedule ranking. And it certainly didn't. Playing Purdue, playing Kentucky, eh. The other two dates out of conference, Kent State and Murray State on September 23rd and 30th. So I could really only find one difficult stretch, and it's a stretch to call it a stretch. It's only two games. In weeks two and three, Louisville plays at North Carolina, and then they come home to take on Clemson. Other than that, there are no difficult stretches here. Yes, of course, they play Florida State, but they've got BC the week before and Wake Forest the week after. Other than that, my goodness, what's propping up the schedule is Florida State and Clemson. Louisville with a light touch out of conference and also playing just about the easiest conference schedule you can possibly play out of the Atlantic Division. Louisville fans, Follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mark Rogers TV, and uh, please check out all the videos and the initial introductory video to understand how we're breaking down these schedules and ranking them 68 all the way up to number one. Right here on Mark Rogers TV.